Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a tablecloth for your Unity 3D or any other game. Just an example in my case, it's a table and tablecloth for my Five Nights at Teddy's 2. So in this case I'm going to show you how it looks like. So in, f in fact it's just a box on a table. It's just a box, but it's distorted box. It's distorted mesh. And actually now I have a little problem. I have no idea how to texture it because it's now really distorted. So for, so for instance uh, if I uh, add a UV W map and it will be planar or box a box, right? And I've, I'm going to apply you unwrap and you can see that actually distortion is really really crazy and no matter what mapping I choose or box mapping right box it will be still distorted like this so it will be not correct to map also if I apply uh, top bottom still I have this crazy distortion uh, so and to prevent uh, the starting the work from the beginning uh, I'm going to show you first of all how I started to make it. So this is how I started to make it. So I'm going to I'm going to delete this modifier. So I created a box right above my surface of my table like this, and this is basically how my cloth looked like. So this is height is 1 you can see here height is 1 width is 25 and length is 10 and uh, how I made a distortion for my cloth so I went to editable poly mode then I moved this back to my surface of my table like this and then I started to play with vertices so I, I want basically to uh, top mode I took all my vertices, the half all my vertices like this I moved it right to the edge of my table like this and I started to move my vertices ok hold a second, my vertices straight down and here is the angle angle of you know this distortion for my tablecloth and this is how it looks like now. So I made this, this distortion. Uh, you can see it right now. So this is this distortion. So you know, like this tablecloth is going down. And the same action I did from uh, for this side. And now I'm going to show you how I made this side. So I want to make also here is a here should be an angle, proper angle for tablecloth. So I go to my this view. I take this all the side, but except this one. Or I can take it also. So I'm going to move it from this side of view. So I take it like this. I move it like this. No, no, like this. Hold a second. Yeah, can you see this? So there must be some extra uh, segments so I could do such action like this. So I could take it. I move it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold a second. Ah, this. This is my proper view. So this is down. I move it down, down, closer and all the way down, you can see it here. And there is not where a proper angle over here, you can see it. So I have to uh, adjust this angle so it will look more realistic. You can see this. And basically this is how, it, uh, how this tablecloth should look like. So the angle, you can see this angle, 
this side and now I'm going to fix this side too so I mean this side I'm just going to show you how it uh, should be done and you can um, do the same in your uh, hold a second okay this is what I need to select this also you can select this uh, option here ignore big, big facing to do not to select you know from this side if you don't want to select and now I'm going to put it away down like this oop oop sorry I, I should select should select also the, this one and we need to assign all all our volume I mean not assign we have to fill all our our volume so can you see there so there is a one gap over here it's my mistake my mistake need to select also this one this one and I need to move it away down and then and then I hold alt and deselect those one and I can adjust this better like this and then I can mm, I should make this angle more slight so this one you know not very strong so it so it will be not very uh, eye catchy so we can see this I can move it down like this I can adjust this angle over here move move this down and you can see that there is you know some kind of mm, I mean more proper looking okay and basically you can do this uh, to this side also and to that side also uh, I uh, made here some waves over here so it will look more realistic like this somewhere it's going it's going down somewhere it's going up so you know like this and basically this is all I did so now I'm going to delete this so now you understand how to make it and uh, now let's make uh, unwrapping so you understand that this is a box right so you need to create the same box the same box with the same number of segments like this so 10, 25, 1 and this also 10, 25, 1 then you go here you uh, convert it to con uh, edited, edited, editable poly and then here is a very important part comes so, so uh, you understand this is a cloth right this is a cloth and I'm going to open my paint and I'm going to show how it's you know structure structure of this tablecloth so look, uh, if you mm, have it on your table, right? If you hold a second, if you have it on your table, it will mm, look like this on your table, right? But in fact, in fact, it looks like this. It's just a plane, just a plane. And here it uh, seems for your tablecloth cloth. And here is a main, uh, you know, the center of your of your tablecloth. So, and we are going to replicate this here. To do this, uh, I go to my top mode, and. I select okay uh, let's move them by x axis so it's going to be mm, plus uh, or hold a second plus 50 so it's going to be uh, 35. 35 and here is going to be also 50 plus 50 oh not plus 
minus 50 so it's going to be this value and now we are taking the rest of our our ties so it's going to be also 50 but by this axis minus 50 and here we go plus 50 mm. like this Oop. okay so now uh, only one thing we have to do is we have to adjust so I made one mistake so I copy this xx x value and paste it over here Oop. sorry something is missing okay this and I need to copy this value x and this one okay now we have uh, you know almost ready table cloth and now we need to uh, this we need to do this action so this is okay, zero zero this is the uh, height height of our so basically um, a table cloth is very thin so it's not uh, thick so we take all the top zero and now we have uh, our tablecloth so we go to mm, we go to unwrap I mean UBW map planar and we go to unwrap U UBW and we can see that it's working correctly now this is our tablecloth So uh, now we're going to export this to our Photoshop, so render template. And in this case, I'm going to use a different uh, uh, width and height. So I have no idea. So uh, okay, height is a smaller number in this case. So render UVW template. Okay, this is what I need for for my table. Let's save it on my uh, on my desktop. So table cloth jpg hpeg right or maybe no png png will be more correct in my case. Okay, now we go to our Photoshop for the photo Photoshop for the photo Photoshop. We select our tablecloth, and what you can see now, so we will see the seams of our uh, tablecloth. So I create new layer, basically black, totally black layer. Move it down, and you can see that. So here is our uh, top of our table. And here is our, you know, sides of our table. Here, here, and here. So, and this is very easy now. So I can, for instance, uh, take some paint and I can, oh, let's just select something very, you know, good color for our table. Like this will, will be nice color. And now let's just create new layer and let's paint, paint on our wonderful tablecloth. So... I'm going to make it bigger. No, not so big, like this. So, and, and here we have our top of our table, right? Top. And here is the uh, sides of our table. Sides. So you can uh, you can make your own tablecloth. You can. You can paint it, so uh, but I'm going to just for test. I I do this just for test. So this is a tip, uh, top. And now I uh, save it as JPEG. So 
Yes, and I go back to my uh, to my table tablecloth. So not this one. It's just for example. It's just for it just to make my tablecloth. I'm I'm going to to this one. And uh, first of all, no, no. Uh, I want to save UV map from this cloth. So because we have here the same number of segments, it's just e e exact number, you know, here and here. So I can save this UV table. Oh, not proper, not proper name. And uh, now I go here and I do this UV map planar UV W on wrap. Here we go, and I load my UVW here. Then I go to material editor, and there is okay. There are many of my old materials. I don't need this one. No, I don't need this one. It's just for table. And I replace this, or you can just create your material, your uh, date modified. Modi modify this one. Apply, and you can see now that there is everything correct. You can see, so it's correct now. It's now just beautiful. So you know, it's yeah. It's so it, it's a top of our table. Top. This is a top of our table. You, uh, you can see it. I mean, not table, tablecloth. So top sides of our top of tablecloth. And uh, you know, sides of our table. It's you know here, and it's also over here. So you you can see it here. I'm going to make it bigger. So you, so you 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 can see this right. So this this is this. So now we don't have any distortions, so it's looking pretty good, right? And this is how you can make uh, a texture for your tablecloth from the box. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope this video helped you to make your tablecloth. Yeah, have a good time and bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later in the next episode of something more interesting. Bye. I need to finish my. Five nights at least two now. Okay.